Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV. Now, I'm doing an update today on a video I did way back in 2013, 10 years ago, right? And if you if you go onto my channel page and scroll down, I've put this new playlist, well, it's an old playlist here. I'll put it up here. Uh, it's called Antarctica and Atlantis Mysteries Uncovered. Now, for this to make sense, it would help if you watched at least a few of these videos. The first one, the second one, and maybe the, th the fourth one here, okay? Now, what I'm doing is an update of this video, Antarctic Pyramid video, which I originally did in 2013. Then I did it later on, a few years later, with this one in full HD. And now I'm doing a 4K version of this video right now, because I think this is a very important find. And it made me quite famous back in the day, and it was one of the reasons I ended up on Ancient Aliens and various other TV shows, because um, this really got people's attention, right? And uh, what I've done is I've got the original source image here, and I've put it on my Gigapan site, which is one thing I didn't have back then. So you can actually see the original image from NASA. Here it is. Now, it doesn't look much. What we're dealing with here is very reflective ice and snow, okay? It's difficult to view things when they are this bright. Much like we get on Mars, in some areas we have very bright sand and reflective sand, and it's hard to see the structures on the ground sometimes. This is not only covered in snow and ice, but it's probably also very, very old indeed. It's many, many thousands of years old, I would say, at least around 12,000 years old. It may be a million years old. It could be 100,000 years old. I don't know. When you look at it with a magnifier, you can see the, the walls here. There's a wall there. There's a wall there. There's a wall there. One at the top. And you can see this square structure with a triangular structure inside it. But it's not very clear. Like I said, it's very bright. This is a mountain range covered in ice and snow. This is the Reed Mountains which are part of the Shackleton Range. When you zoom out, you can see the Reed Mountains here, and the Shackleton Range goes right up here, okay? And, and down here. And there's some crazy stuff going on here. I'm gonna show you a close-up of the, the pyramid structure here first. I'll go back a bit and I'll show you the, the details with the magnifier. If you haven't got it, I do recommend you get Hover Zoom magnifier. It works really well for this sort of thing. And you can see I've had to darken this quite a lot just to make it viewable. This was very bright. But you can see a wall here, a wall here, and a wall here, and one here at the top. We've also got a, a perfect equilateral triangle. Each of the edges of this triangle are one kilometer or a thousand meters long. Exactly, okay? This square structure is exactly two kilometers in size from here to here and then from here to here, right? So that's the thing I found back in 2013, and then I later made the video in 2016, which went sort of viral-ish. Um, and I've done a, a number of videos on this over the years, talking about it and TV interviews, that kind of thing, right? But I thought there must be more here. So the last few days I've been going over this image and I found some more things. And there's one here. This is pretty cool. Now, this kind of looks a bit quite natural to start with, and I'm not sure. Because we have this kind of jetty sticking out here, which is almost perfectly straight. And we have these stretches here, but they're not very clear, right? What I advise you do with anything like this, especially when you have bright, icy images, is take a clip and then darken it. That's all we really have to do. Add contrast and darken it. And if you get that right, you will see some pretty amazing stuff in here. And just to the north of that, northeast of that, we have a buried set of structures here. Now, this doesn't look much either, because this is under the ice. What we're seeing here are structures through the ice and snow. And we're seeing the dark ruins underneath through the ice here right 
which is why it's kind of smudgy and weird. What you need to do with this is take a clip and darken it and add contrast. That's all you've got to do. And maybe flip it to negative. Now, I've done that down here for you, so you don't have to do it. But you can try it if you like. It's really easy. You don't have to be some kind of um, graphics genius to do this work. You've just got to be patient and persistent, okay? I'll show you with the magnifier. There's the jetty. And there are the structures next to it. We've got a square or rectangular one here with what seem to be smaller structures by the side of it, right? And I've done a, a negative clip here of that. There's the jetty. And there's the rectangular structure here, right? But it's not that great. It's not that clear. And it, you could say, well, that's that may be natural. Okay, fair enough. But when you go to the north of this, like I just showed you, we have this smudged out area, which is below the ice, not above it. And when you darken it properly like this, quite a lot, you need to go darken it about 40, 50% or something. Add some contrast. And then you will see this structure, which is a perfect rectangular structure here. Look at that. And I've taken clips of that. There's a clip there. Right? I'll go back a bit and use the magnifier because I can point it to it better with the magnifier. There's the structure there. You can see the rectangular shape, which is a long rectangle. It's got a smaller rectangle inside it. And in fact, I think this whole thing is a, a set of structures here. One, two, three, four, a large one here. But they're not very clear. It's only this middle one that really stands out because I think this is nearer the top, which is higher up. So the ice is thinner. It's got ice over it, ice and snow, but it's, it's much thinner here. Whereas some of this is kind of deeper down or lower down, right? That's why it looks grey and this looks black. And we got also a negative of this. We got this rectangular structure and the negative here. You can see the rectangle inside. So we've got an outer rectangle, which is probably walls, and then an inner rectangle, which is the room inside it. This there. I'd imagine the, the roof has probably collapsed on this thing, but who knows? So we've got a set of structures there. You've got the jetty over here, right? We've got the, the pyramid, the two kilometer square pyramid complex here. And then we have this thing. Now this thing here is, is up here. I'll show you where this is. If you follow the jetty down, go due south of there, we have this just here, which may well be also a buried structure under the ice just here. But you really need to add a lot of contrast to this to see it properly. But you can see there's a rectangular shape to it here with smaller rectangles inside, right? Just here. We've got a structure here. We've got a square one here. You've got other ones here. When you add contrast, this is what it looks like. Now, if I turn that a bit and straighten it out, I just turned it round and then flipped it to negative here. And you can see that there are structures here. We've got one at the top, two at the top. We've got like a square one here. And we have a smaller square just here. And another rectangular structure here. With what seems to be a wall or something coming out. And a smaller square-ish shaped one here. Okay? So we've got multiple structures in, in like a sort of cluster here. Like a ruined building. Or set of buildings right so there's some crazy stuff going on in here and when you look at this image there's a whole bunch of crazy things now I appreciate most of this is natural but the people that built this whenever that was many thousands of years ago like the people on Mars built things into mountains and into the rock Okay. Now, when you look at the city structures and uh, towns and stuff that I've shown on Mars recently, a lot of them, a lot of the structures are cut straight into the bedrock.
and they're usually on the side of a, a ridge or mountain side like this, like we have here. This is is cut right out of the bedrock, it seems, right? Because we got the top of the Reed Mountains here. This is about 6,000 feet up. And we've got this whole bunch of stuff going on over here, which is absolutely insane looking. And a lot of this stuff really does look like ruined structures. I mean, you can see symmetry in here, squares and rectangles, right? Look at this. Let me center that, actually. Unfortunately, we're missing some of it here. But you can look at this on Google Earth. We've got these long, straight ridges. And then we have these very angular parts in here. Look at this. This looks like a bond out or ruined set of structures here. Unfortunately, it's on the edge. But were they actually cutting into natural structures and then building into them like they do on Mars? That is possible. Whoever built these things. Right, look at that. Look at this. I mean, absolutely insane. And there's another one up here, which is rectangular. But it may be a natural formation, but it looks a bit like a building here. We have a, a rectangular shape here. And we have these buried structures here near it as well. So this may this whole thing may be a structure here. But we're only seeing the top of it. Right? And when you start looking at a lot of this stuff, you start thinking, hang on a minute, look at these straight lines. There's loads of these straight lines and rows of things in the ground which look like parts of structures that are buried. But obviously the main one is, is the actual pyramid structure here. The pyramid compound or city compound. This is absolutely huge. And what I'm going to do very quickly is show you on, on Google Earth and show you where to find it. There it is. And when you scroll out, if you look north, west, we have Belgrano base here. Belgrano 2, it's called, right? And this is exactly 230 miles south east of Belgrano 2. This row here is the Reed Mountains. And this whole area is called the Shackleton Range here. And we're right on the edge. Now, it doesn't show in this. For some reason, the newer version of um, Google Earth doesn't let you show the coast. But the, the actual coastline is not up here. That's just where the water comes to now. And we have an ice shelf here. This is an ice shelf. This whole area, which comes right in like this, right? Because Antarctica isn't one, it's not one landmass. It's two large landmasses with a gap down the middle, right? And we're right on the edge of where the actual landmass ends and the ice shelf begins. So this is water under here. And the, the, the inlet comes right in to where we are, which is the Reed Mountains. It comes right to here. You can see the edge of it here. You look carefully. That's the edge of the ice shelf, right? So just north of this Atlantis structure is where the water would have come in. If this was unfrozen now, you would see blue coming right up here. In this video here, Atlantis Azores, I actually show you how I found the pyramid in Antarctica. I ran a line, a straight line, down the longitude line, straight from a, a, the Azores, where this pyramid was found underwater. And I ran straight down to follow the line down, straight to Antarctica. And then I bumped into that structure, which is the one in the Reed Mountains. So it, it directly aligns, okay? Pyramids are aligned with each other, going from Africa right across to Central America. Those are aligned, right? Then I thought to myself, there must be another one somewhere for the pyramid grid structure to, to work. But there probably should be one in Antarctica, but I just didn't know where. But that's how I did it. I aligned it with the Azores and followed the latitude down, straight down, until I found, I just followed the line down and it took me right to here because the line goes right through the center 
of this structure, right? Let's go a bit closer. Let's line that up north again. You can't see the grid very well, but it's there. And the lines go right through the center. So that's how I found it. And the fact that it lines up so well tells me this is a real structure. It's not just some random rocks. Like some people will probably try and say, this is aligned with the earth and other pyramid structures that have been found on earth. Okay. So that's how I did it. Not only is this structure perfectly square with walls around it, it has a perfect equilateral triangle inside it and it has structures to the side of it here. And then we have these other things around it as well, which are, some of them are quite close, some of them are miles away. We have rectangular structures in the ground, like this here, and this here, buried under the ice. We also have this weird jetty with a structure next to it here, just here. And there's loads and loads of other things in the area that look like ruins with long straight formations in the ground. Like I showed, like big walls and, and what they're like collapsed structures. A lot of it looks like it was cut right into the mountain. Okay. Just like some of the structures we see on Mars that were cut right into the bedrock. You can see the walls. You can see the triangular structure. Okay. A lot of this is buried in ice. It looks like some of it's kind of collapsed down a bit as well. This stuff is very ancient. Uh, there may have been earthquakes in the area and stuff like that as well. So we don't know what's happened here. But one thing is for sure. This is no natural structure. Okay. Thanks for watching everybody. Clips coming up now.